So I'm Nicolas Chartier. I'm the co-founder of Aramis Group. Um, and I've been learning Lean the hard way uh, for more than 10 years now. Uh, I'm going to share, I'm not going to teach you Lean today. Uh, I'm just going to share some uh, uh, experience uh, about Lean uh, and some things that I have learned uh, along this journey. Uh, by the way, we have, sh we have shared those, uh, those learning in two books, uh, written with, uh, in one book, which is uh, Raise the Bar. Uh, this book is written with Michael Ballet, uh, with Guillaume Paoli, and uh, with uh, Regis Medina. Guillaume Paoli is my, uh, my co-founder and co-CEO of Aramis Group. Uh, and Michael and Regis are uh, our senseis. Uh, and in this, book, in, in this book, we come back on the last five years of Lean at Aramis Auto. Uh, the mission of Aramis Group is to reinvent our uh, Europeans uh, by cars. We aim at offering a new experience for our customers to buy their used car, um, offering high quality cars, uh, and also creating an amazing um, work environment for our teams. And you will see that Lean is really helping us uh, in that regard. We also think that promoting refurbished used car is an excellent response to the environmental challenges uh, that we are facing today. So today, Aramis Group is in uh, six countries. Uh, and in the last five years, uh, we have grown uh, the company from 400 million euros to 2 billion euros uh, in 2022 uh, turnover, uh, which represents an annual growth of 35%. Uh, and we managed to deliver this growth uh, while constantly improving the value and the quality we deliver to our um, uh, customers. So in my Lean journey, um, I started to work with uh, Sensei beginning of 2017. And this was a tipping point for me, as I consider that this is a moment when I really start learning Lean. First contact with the Sensei was very complicated. Um, as he initially told me that I was totally uh, on the wrong way. Um, I wanted to deploy Lean in my organization, and I was explaining him how I was struggling uh, to deploy Lean uh, in the organization, how I was struggling with this deployment. And he told me that deploying Lean in the organization is just a silly idea, uh, and that I will never succeed with this strategy. Instead, he explained me uh, that I must learn the techniques of the CEO. Uh, so what are the techniques of the CEO? This was in 2017, uh, and I'm going to share with you uh, three of those techniques that I have learned with the Sensei. Actually, uh, those techniques was simply having conversations uh, with the teams. Of course, there are dozens of conversations that you must have with your teams uh, as a CEO, but I'm going to highlight three of them. And you will see that those conversations, in fact, with, uh, make a link to the discussions that we have had yesterday with uh, Dan Jones. Uh, Dan explained us how problem solving uh, is at, in core, at the core of Lean, and how uh, problem solving can totally change your company and how learning problem solving, how teaching problem solving can totally change your company. And you will see that those three conversations, those three examples that I'm going to share with you as all, are, are all about problem solving. And those problem solving are done around the 4F methodology. So the fine, face, frame, and form. Uh, this methodology that Dan introduced yesterday night. Um, so the first conversation I'm going to share with you is uh, how to have conversation about people uh, with C levels. The second one will be how to have conversations on quality with team leaders. And finally, the third conversation will be how, um, discuss, how to discuss initiatives with frontline staff, with frontline operators. The first conversation is about C, uh, with C-level uh, and how to, to, to discuss uh, people as a solution with the C-level. We have to make them switch from process is the solution to 
people are the solution. In, gen in January 2022, I was discussing one with one of uh, our head of country, and he explained me how uh, a new procedure they have made will make sure that all the cars that will be refurbished in the refurbishing center will have the same level of quality, and of course, with uh, at the right cost. Uh, that was in, in very interesting work they, they, they made with all the executive team, and they even uh, had some customer studies to make this work. So we took the procedure and went to the factory with it uh, to discuss it with uh, the guys uh, in charge of doing the expertise of the car. We took some cars, one by one, and then we asked some mechanics and even some sales to gather and discuss uh, on this topic. We quickly realized that this process was totally impossible to apply for those cars, uh, for those cars we are having here. Going to the Gamba with the teams definitely showed us that we must start with the people on the field rather than reinventing processes from the boardroom. Sea level are always obsessed with system and processes. They tend to forget that people at are at the earth of everything in the company, and th that we'll, we'll, we must always start with people, and that we must always start discussing problem solving with people. So the technique I've learned here is to bring them on the game bar with the frontline staff to discuss the changes we want to do and always reframe people as a solution. The second conversation I want to share with you today is discussing quality with team leaders. Team leaders are always obsessed by volumes uh, and very hard to bring on quality. Discussing with the team in charge of displaying the inventory of the French website, we realized that uh, one problem we, have, uh, we are creating to our customer is that it happens that some cars may be displayed on the website but not available for our customer anymore. The team leaders explained me how they made amazing progress on that topic. Incident uh, from non-available cars jumped from 20 to 5 per week in a few months, as you can see uh, on the slide. So I asked her, OK, we still have five customers per week having that problem. Uh, she told me, yes, uh, that's very few, she, she, she answered me. Considering all the difficulties we are facing to improve, we think that it's already good. And we can focus on new areas now. So we had a discussion about total quality and the difference between good enough and great experience for our customers. The difference be between good enough quality and great quality for our customers. And this is always difficult for team leaders to raise the bar on quality as they have such a pressure on volumes. So the conversation here I've learned to, to have with the teams is to switch from volume to quality, from good enough quality to total quality. And the technique for the CEO here is go on the game bar, learn to see where the quality is not, is not good enough uh, have conversation with the team leaders and raise the bar on quality. Third conversation uh, I want to share with you uh, is with uh, uh, frontline staff. In late 2022, I was in the Gemba in Ul with our team. Uh, some, some members of our team were here. Um, with the team in charge of managing logistics of car collection uh, directly at the customer's uh, home. Discussing with Peter, one of the team members, we realized that the average waiting time uh, for our jockeys uh, collecting the car was 44 minutes, uh, which was a crazy waste of time uh, and very dis dissatisfying for uh, our customers. But also, of course, for our jockeys because they were wasting their time. Peter explained to us how difficult those, op those operations are and why it is as it is. So we started asking him, what, what, what would be the ideal situation for our customers and jockeys? Of course, the, the ideal situation will be no waiting time, but how to go there? The technique was to give him an exercise of monitoring himself 
how this waiting time evolved during the day or the week. And just tell us next time uh, if he thinks we can, we can change things to improve the situation. And actually, the result was far above expected. Uh, during our next visit, Peter showed us how the result, uh, the result he, he, he had. The waiting, waiting time decreased from 44 minutes to uh, five minutes in only three months. And Peter explained us the many initiatives they have taken while doing this exercise of visualization and how they got those amazing results. So he then asked us, What's an, a very funny, funny thing. What's the next challenge and what is the next uh, exercise? The technique here is having conversation with the staff. Um, and of course, the technique is going to the Gemba, see the problem, and set a target when you have the conversation uh, with the staff. But the critical point to quality here uh, with the field staff is knowing how to propose the right exercise uh, to visualize the problem and to help the staff to go to the next step uh, and start to have initiatives himself thanks to this visualization and this better understanding of the problem. So Gemba, Gemba conversation, and exercise of visualization. So finally, uh, I've, learned, learned, I've learned that Lean is a, a lot about techniques. Of course, there is a, the TPS and a lot of things that you can see in the factories uh, to, to improve the flow. Uh, but there is one thing that I was not realizing uh, uh, when I started uh, learning Lean, is that for the CEO, for the leaders of the organizations, there are also techniques. And the leaders have to le learn those techniques first other, otherwise, your lean strategy will not work. So here are some of those techniques uh, we have learned with the sensei. Uh, of course, all start with the Gemba. And Gemba is to have conversation with the teams. In this conversation, we have uh, learned how to give exercise and encourage initiatives with frontline staffs, how to raise the bar on quality with team leader, and how uh, to put people at the center of every discussion we have with C-levels. And of course, uh, all this is about teaching and learning problem solving with a fine face frame form methodology. Uh, so, and that's just a little part of what we have uh, learned with the Sensei. We still have a lot to learn. Thank you for your attention. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest lean content.